Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to add some sand and stuff to your aquarium. First thing you're going to need to do is get some Mod Podge. There's two types. You can get this kind, which is a flat base and it's thicker, or you can get the matte base, which is a little bit more runnier. The black one's used for like chalkboard surfaces and stuff. I'm using the yellow matte, um, which means it won't have a shine to it and I'm pouring it into there and I'm just kind of letting a little bit of it go and then I'm adding a little bit of sand. Then you want to mix it all up. Use the back end of a paintbrush or a skewer or something that you can mix it with. You want to repeat this process until you get the amount of sand that you need. Add a little bit more glue if you need it and then a little bit more sand. Mix it again to get it all blended. And what this is going to do, it's going to make all that sand stick together so when it dries, it'll dry hard. And then you won't have a sandy mess. Try to keep it off of the edges though where you don't want it because you are going to end up seeing the glue marks if you don't on your fish tank. You can use any color sand you want. If you wanted to add some gravel to it as well, you can do that too. Um, the fish store sells super fine gravel. You can get, you know, at like PetSmart or Petco or one of those kind of places. House of Tropics, um, super fine, and you can see it to the left of the screen sitting on the floor. It comes in a really tiny bag. It's about three dollars a bag. You can add that if you want. I just was going to show it to you and forgot to during the video. I did not add it to mine, but um, you'll also notice that there is a bunch of clay. Um, coral and stuff that I made. We're going to attach those as well. And I'll show you how to make those in another video. So don't forget to, you know, click the bell below and subscribe so that you can, will know when we put that up there. Now I'm using the brush end of the paintbrush and I'm smoothing out all of the sand so that it's not rough looking. You can have it like wavy in some areas or you can have a flat all the way across it's completely up to you just go ahead and do what you want but this is going to keep it smoother where it's not clumpy as you can see it's getting to the point that it's very smooth and that's what I want it you can just smooth it to your desired liking. And now I'm going to start taking these clay pieces that I made and I'm going to put them in like a puzzle. And I'm going to see what fits where and what doesn't fit. And I'm going to be very, very careful because I don't want to get the hot glue anywhere else. So at some points I'm going to use my tweezers. And they're very small pieces, so you don't want to burn yourself either with the hot glue. But you just kind of want to put them all in there and just get them where, you know, they look fully covered onto the back. You can also put some on top of others to give it a 3D effect. Um, put it in front of it, put it to the side of it. You can kind of just put it any way that you want and then fill in all of the crevices with other pieces that would fit. And I made some grass and um, some different types of coral that's bigger and smaller so when you're doing your coral and you're doing all of your sea um, decorations make sure that you're putting them like in different sizes and different shapes and stuff like that 
Now, I just, when I did mine, I just went on the internet and I googled coral for um, saltwater tanks and I just kind of looked at the pictures and tried to make it sort of like that. And what I found was coral is very, very colorful and all the sea plants are really, really colorful for salt water. So um, I don't think you can really mess this up, but I'm not a sea, you know, a salt water person. So I'm sure I'm not exact here on this, but it's cute and it works for the dollhouse. Okay guys, so for the rest of the video, I'm just putting these pieces in on the back of the tank and I'm just placing them in where they can go. You can watch me do this in a fast forward motion um, as I've sped the video up a little bit. Or you can go to the end of the video and there's a few pictures of the coral all on there and you can look at it that way. In the meantime, like and subscribe, leave a question, suggestion or comment below and don't forget to check out dollhousetutorials.com or Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials on Facebook for lots of DIYs and images as well as free templates and printables for your dollhouse. Hit the bell down below though if you want to see us do the acrylic because or not acrylic but the um, epoxy because we're going to be filling this with some epoxy and then also I'm thinking of adding a light to it. I'm going to research and see what kind of LEDs I can find and I will be possibly doing that. Something that has something I can put underneath of it with maybe a switch or something. Alright, um, well, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and we will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day.